the rest of the world is going to continue using fossil energy, whether it's coal or oil or natural gas. Uh, and that's why we have moved forward quickly on the Coal First program, uh, because it offers the opportunity to, uh, for what I think of as 21st century coal. Uh, right now, the Chinese own the space in power generation, uh, coal-fired power generation. Uh, we have an opportunity to take technology and springboard uh, over what the Chinese are building, which is basically 1970s vintage technology that we built. And then uh, they now have improved slightly, but they're selling it around the world to countries that have coal under their feet, and they're going to continue using that coal. But with the Coal First program, we can move into power generation, and we can move into hydrogen production. Because these countries also, as they build out their transport sector, may not do it the same way that developed countries. They may move more swiftly into hydrogen. And so there is an opportunity there to take our technology using their natural resources that are under their feet and produce zero emitting power generation and zero emitting hydrogen and perhaps even net negative hydrogen uh, and net negative electricity. And they can use that hydrogen in the transportation sector as well as the industrial sector.